Um, hello? 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 Ah, there you are. Ha! I'm just playing with you. Now, this is it, people. Sorry to have kept you waiting for part two. This is the part two of the Wii L85A2 GBB. And, um, yeah, today I'm going to confirm that this is indeed an updated version by WeTech. So, they've improved on the first gen, which gave a lot of problems, you know, with the old bolt carrier and, yeah, other things. But... Another main part of this video is to show you how to install the NPAS, the NPAS. Now, if you happen to have bought one of these that doesn't have the NPAS fitted, I'm going to show you how to do that today and show you how it can increase or decrease your FPS. Of course, keeping within your country's legal limits. So, the first thing we're going to do is naturally mag out now i've already done all my checks there's no bbs in here plus the mag isn't there so it's not getting any gas so it's safe and the next thing is to remove this rear body pin and the next pin you want to remove is the pin in front of your mag well not the rear one that one is for your trigger set this one right here is the one you need to remove and i'm loving how easy it is to pop these pins out as long as that doesn't mean they pop out by themselves during gameplay which it, they don't they're pretty good pins they do stay in nice and firm but they're just easy to pop out when you need to now what i love it's just those two pins that now enables me to separate my lower receiver from the top now we're not doing anything with the lower receiver so we can put that to one side i'm going to put it that way keep all the internals free from dust as much as possible. So as you can see there, on the rear of the bolt carrier, we have some reinforcements. That plate right there um, is basically stopping the problem that used to happen. So what used to happen was the bolts going back and forth, the whole guide rod and its springs and the whole rear mechanism behind it is slamming against the holes on the back of the bolt carrier, causing those holes to get damaged. And after a while, it just starts to jam. But as you can see with this new gen version, they now have a plate on there. No more having to mod it by putting washers or anything like that. They've put a plate on the back of the bolt carrier that makes it stronger and should hopefully eliminate that problem. So the next thing we need to do is to take out the guide rod. Because naturally what we want to do is to get that bolt out. Now before we can do that, we need to remove your charging handle or your cocking handle if you like. And the way to do that is to pull it back to this point right there. And then just got to try and get this out. And now we can slide the whole bolt carrier out. So again, let me take the opportunity to show you this as it's out. Remember, you can actually buy a RA Tech one. But yeah. And again, there's that new gen reinforcement now the main purpose of today's video is to fit that npas the npas allows me to adjust the fps accordingly so what we do now at this point is we need to remove the guides okay so what that involves if you look on this side you will see that screw take that out They are very tiny screws, so make sure you don't lose them. Um, now, the next thing you need to do is take this guide out completely. So just get something small enough just to prise it up so you can take it out. And that's what it should look like once your guide is out. Now, there's another guide you need to take out and you locate that in there. So as you can see, this particular guide has two screws. Whip those out, take that guide out, and then there's a pin that needs to be punched out. So, let's do that all in one go, right now. Ooh. 
Look how tiny that is. <laughs> and once you have your screws out, just get something small enough to prise it out. Right, let's get this pin out right there. Now, ideally, you wanna get yourself a pin punch and hammer to get that pin out. However, if you've got something small enough and strong enough, you can just push that out. Although, I don't know if it's that easy, but we're gonna give it a go with a pin punch and hammer. So once you have your pin out, your nozzle should be free. Then turn it around, and ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the world's smallest pin. Look at that. How am I supposed to get that out? But I will, okay? So you need to poke that pin out before you can install your end pads. Actually, the tip of this, yeah, that should be small enough. Let me give this a go. <laughs> Oh wow, that was easier than I thought. Look, the pin, can you see it at the bottom there? Let me just focus that up for you. The pin's coming out already, that was easy. Excellent. <laughs> and there it is, very small. I suspect there are even smaller pins out there, but that is the tiniest one I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what Okay, so now that we have that pin out, you should be able to just prise your nozzle apart into two pieces and in there is a part which is already coming out that bit right there that needs to come out and if you notice it also has a spring and you probably already spotted this during the process there is another spring in here your return spring and you can just put that to one side so here's my NPAS by RA Tech comes with a little tool of sorts. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is get your new NPAS and pop it in there. But before you do that, and you're gonna put it in that section of your nozzle, okay? So, before I do that, remember that spring I showed you earlier on? Let's get that in there. And then you want to pop your NPAS in, making sure it slots inside that spring. Yep, that's in. Oh, and by the way, this tool of sorts that I showed you earlier, that's what you're gonna to use to adjust your NPAS, your FPS. And now you wanna put your uh, nozzle back together and notice you've got a little slot right there. That same section on the other side is like a plug, if you like. So there's your plug section, there's your socket section. Just, uh, yeah, make sure they meet again and then you can pop your return spring back in there and then from that point onwards just reverse the process of putting everything back together again so first thing is to get that world's tiniest little pin back in there and you know when i popped this return spring in there just very casually like that effectively what you want is for that pin to go through that hole. Now, once you have that return spring in, what you're looking for effectively is for it not to fall out again and for you to be able to pull it gently and look, it wants to pop back in. Nice. Now, the next process is to get your nozzle back in. Now, remember that pin I took out earlier from that hole right there? Remember what I did with the other pin with the other side of that spring, you want the end of that spring, it has a little loop, to be in line with this hole right there so you can get the pin right in. And that will prevent your nozzle from coming out again. Now, when I say it stops it coming out, I mean it stops it coming out completely. So for example, as you can see, I've got the pin back in, but now I can freely pull that nozzle forward I can even twist it around, and if I pull it far enough, you should see that return spring, there it is, and that return spring will bring it back home. Nice. I know this might all seem a bit complicated, but trust me, if I can do it, <laughs> so can you. Now the next part of this process is to get your guides back in. And if you remember from earlier, that's here and here. Now it's all assembled, you can now adjust your FPS. Now how this works is, your NPAS should come with this tool. You can see at one end it's hollow, the other end is solid. That hollow bit actually 
slots inside your nozzle, grabs hold of your end pairs. Now watch what happens when I turn. Can you see the end pairs turning? Well, effectively that's not doing anything. What you need to do is get another little tool, whether it be, I don't know, a flathead screwdriver or any type of screwdriver. You just need something to stop that from spinning whilst you do your adjustments. And just so we're clear, you see that hole there? There's more than one, as you can see, as I spin it. You need something to just slot inside that hole, keep it in place, and then you can make your end pass adjustments. So effectively now, depending on which way you are rotating your tool, you are increasing or decreasing the gas flow. Now, that in turn will of course dictate how much FPS you are getting. But the good thing is, the lower the gas flow that you're sending forward, the more is being pushed back, which in turn gives you a harder kick. Right, let's get this bad boy back together. Right, so this is it. Depending on what country you are in, these bad boys will come out of the box way in excess of 400 FPS. Now, if you're in the UK or you're quite knowledgeable about certain things, um, when it comes to FPS and different countries, we have certain jewels and FPS laws in the UK. Anything that's capable of full auto must not exceed in the FPS range of 370 okay max but as i said these bad boys shoot a lot harder so if you're going to order one of these in the uk your retailer should also sell the version that has npas already installed and already regulated so it falls within uk law i've just showed you how to put one in this one just so that you know so this bad boy is 100 percent within UK legal limits. Um, I've adjusted it and I believe, just going by what I've seen online and how I've adjusted it, we're probably gonna be looking at about 350, but it won't go over 370, okay? Here we go. <laughs> So there you go people, this was my tutorial of how to uh, install the NPAS and of course the main point of this video was to show you that this is the new gen, the latest gen of the WeTech L85A2 gas blowback, the one with the reinforced bolt carrier. Here it is people, VIP channel membership is go! So, are you currently a subscriber or a general casual viewer of my videos? Have you ever considered subscribing? It's free! It will always be free to subscribe and it will always be free to watch all my uploads when it comes to unboxings and reviews. But, if you become a channel VIP member, not only do you get an exclusive icon or loyalty badge next to your name every time you make a comment on one of my videos, you also unlock a private membership VIP area just for my VIP members. And that's not all. You don't just get a loyalty badge just because you're a member. You get other perks too and the new exclusive Airsoft Mic patch that's coming later this year. So go ahead, consider joining, become a member to the Airsoft Mic YouTube channel. Oh, and did I mention, depending on your VIP level, you will get on-screen credits and a mention at the end of each video I upload. Nice!